Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and hello to you. Welcome back to another video. Picture the scene. You've got your mates round and five massive peaches to share between you, as well as a metric ton of Doritos and a half a dozen bottles of Mountain Dew. This game night is going to go down in history as one of the best game nights of all time. But what are you gonna play? Well, if you're not sure, let me help you out with that one. Here are 10 video games to play at parties. And the contest begins. Number 10, the FIFA series. Ah yes, FIFA. The game that hasn't really changed that much since its first game way back in 1993 because it doesn't need changing. Maybe a bit. Regardless, this football game is a solid choice for those of you who are into football, or as they're commonly known, the lads. You can beat your mates as your favourite football teams from multiple leagues. There's a surprising number of teams to pick from. It has the big teams from the Premier League, such as Manchester City, Manchester United and Liverpool, as well as international teams such as England, the US and Japan. You can even play as my hometown of Grimsby. I mean, why you'd want it would be on me, but still. And it's in, a goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. Dodge this! Nine, Worms series. This very quirky tactical game where you must destroy enemy worms with your own group of worms is super fun to play, as well as using more conventional weapons such as baseball bats, airstrikes, dynamite and grenades, you have access to a huge variety of, shall we say, unusual weapons. These include the holy hand grenade, concrete donkey, sheep and the mad cow. Oh, and a nuclear bomb, because why not, right? <laughs> Worms is a very good game to play for those who need a good laugh. Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled. Gaming's favourite Bandicoot is up next on the list and he has his own racing game. A remake of the Crash Team Racing games, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel is perfect for those who seek a little more challenging gameplay. <laughs> All your favourite characters, such as Crash, Coco, Polar, Tiny and Dr. Neo Cortex are present, as well as some new additions such as Spyro the Dragon, Hunter and Chicken Stew, which by the way is by far one of the best name pairings for two characters ever. All the tracks from previous games are back, as well as some new tracks so you can relive your old favourites and master some new ones. My personal favourite track has to be Prehistoric Playground. Whoa, you know what you're doing. Seven, Hasbro Game Night. Three games in one. Yep, you heard me right. Three of Hasbro's classic board games for the price of one on a platform of your choice. You could start by trying to conquer the world as you wage war against your friends in Risk, then bankrupt your friends by building three hotels next to each other and owning all the utilities in Monopoly, or 
you can test your general knowledge against your friends with Trivial Pursuit. It's very good value for money and worth picking up a copy. Or alternatively, you can just pick up whichever one you fancy because each game is sold individually as well. Plate spin. Number six, one, two, switch. One of the Nintendo Switch's launch titles, one, two, switch is a must play at parties. Two people can play this together or you could have two teams. There's a variety of mini games that are really fun and addictive to play. Some of my favorites are quick draw, milk and ball count. In quick draw, both players must stand facing each other and when fire is shouted, must move the Joy-Cons up and fire at the other person. The winner is whoever isn't shot. In the minigame Milk, both players must move their hand up and down while squeezing as if milking a cow. The winner is whoever fills the most glasses in the time frame. Ball count involves each player tilting the Joy-Con to count the number of balls in the box. The winner is whoever guesses correctly or is the closest without going over. All set. Left wins. Nailed it. Number five, Just Dance. This game is another must play at parties and has been for over a decade. Up to four people must copy a person's dance moves on the screen. The better your timing and rhythm, the more points you score and you're gonna need to be good because the points can be very close at times. The songs featured within the Just Dance games are bangers as well. From Lady Gaga's Poker Face and Gangnam Style by Psy to The Mashed Potato and Surfing Bird, there's not many chart toppers that haven't been in this game. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just picking up your first copy, Just Dance is accessible to people of all dance abilities. It's also a good way of burning the five massive pizzas, metric ton of Doritos and half a dozen bottles of Mountain Dew I mentioned earlier. Number four, the Overcooked series. This very cute co-op game is another solid choice for parties. You play as a chef and you must complete orders before the time runs out. Sounds easy, right? Well, don't be so sure. You must communicate with your teammate or teammates to make sure the orders go out correctly in a timely manner, the dishes are cleaned and your food doesn't burn. You'll be running around like headless chickens in an array of different kitchens as your burnt burger sets the kitchen on fire and you can't find the fire extinguisher. I'd highly recommend that you assign yourselves jobs and communicate because if not, you may have to deal with a burning kitchen. And good luck finding those fire extinguishers because I have yet to be able to find one. Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Now we're getting into games many of you thought would be on this list. With a grand total of 89 playable characters from Nintendo franchises such as Super Mario, The Legend of Zelda, Metroid and Kirby, to third party characters such as Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Cloud from Final Fantasy and Steve from Minecraft, Super Smash Bros is truly the pinnacle of fighting games.
There really is something for everyone's tastes and play styles here. Personally, I like to play as either Rob, Duck Hunt Duo, or Pac-Man. Yeah, I know, completely random, right? But hey, when you beat your friends as the Duck Hunt Duo, it isn't half satisfying. It also has a Dalmatian skin, so I'm kind of obligated to play it. You pick Bayonetta or Meta Knight though, there is going to be issues and I will not be happy. There will be arguments from that alone. Don't do it. Mario Party series. The name is kind of a giveaway. If the game has party in the title, there's a good chance that's when you should be playing it, amongst other times of course. Though the Mario Party games have been a mixed bag to say the least, it's still worth picking up a copy. You and up to four other players compete in a giant board game mixed with a variety of mini games. All these mini games are completely unique and super fun to play. They range from solo games where you go up against each other, the team games where you and a friend can work together, to three versus one games where a team of three must beat one player. Some of the most iconic mini games from this franchise are Bob Sled Run, Buck Squirm, and of course, Bumper Balls. This game, by the way, is as old as me. I just thought I'd throw the one out there for you. Number one, the Mario Kart series. If you haven't played a Mario Kart title, what on earth have you been doing with your life? A game that can ruin friendships and same control as flying, Mario Kart is best played with friends who don't mind losing. This is by far one of Nintendo's most successful franchises, and rightfully so, as it sets the standards for what kart racers should be. I usually play as Koopa Trooper, though I do occasionally play as Yoshi or Shy Guy, light blue or green, in case you're wondering the colour. With a huge variety of tracks and kart combinations, as well as multiple modes, you and your friends will have hours of fun, unless you get hit by a blue shell right at the end and get beaten by your friends or consistently get hit with shell after shell after shell, then maybe it's not so much fun after all. So, what do you think? What's your favourite video game to play at parties? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I switch between Mario Kart, Mario Party and Smash. I usually try and squeeze all three in one. Oh, side note, if I got any of the football teams wrong, that would be because I didn't care enough to Google it and I still don't care enough to Google it really. Anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to drop it a like. If you want more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, so feel free to follow me there as well. Links are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, DJ, drop the bass.